Hey guys, what's up? It's Nico again, and in this video, we're going to talk about post-processing your flexible filament. Hey everybody, so I know it's been a while since my last video, and I know a lot of you have been waiting for the smoothing of the um, flexible filament video, and I've been busy working on this thing, um, on the Batman, and post-processing stuff. So anyway, um, a lot of you might think that Plasti Dip is going to be the way to go for post-processing and smoothing your 3D prints. Let me tell you right now, it's not. I've even um, done a bunch of test uh, test walls on this um, on that type of, of post-processing, and it just doesn't work. So what I have here is full-on Plasti Dip. Okay, so you can still. It's not going to smooth it out. It's, not, it, it, it's going to bend with it, right? Definitely bend with it. But you're going to see that it's got it's got that textured um, surface. It's not smooth. It's not like armor. So if you're doing like a Batman, um, like a, like one of these, maybe this. But for like Iron Man or whatnot, I don't recommend it. Okay. I've even done to um, thin it out with xylol, which is a, uh, an alcohol-based solvent. And I still get the same, same textured surface. You don't get that nice, smooth, like, you know, flat armor that, that you have, right? Um, I, see, it's starting to crack on some of them. Um, this one, is uh, quick seal this thing so I'll, I'll show you guys a video about um, on how to do it I figured out how to do it it's just a long it's a, it's a long process okay I've even done like a really really thick high build latex primer because you need for, for flexible filament you need something that's gonna that's gonna bend with your um, with your armor so you need something like latex based or rubber based right so this latex like you, you can see you see those lines Mm, yeah, it's, it's, it looks like shit, man. So don't do it. Don't do don't do that. I've experimented. I've even done um, the, just the Bondo Blazing Spot Putty just on the surface and then painted it. Like it started flaking. So that's what I've been doing the past month and a half, just spraying and doing experiments with Plasti Dip and so on and so forth. And the best way to really um, post-process your flexible. Your flexible stuff is this puppy right here this and good old filler primer this thing these two all right now once I've done and I've actually fully mastered it I'm gonna make the video and I'm gonna show you guys what it is but um, I'm seeing in the Facebook group that there's a lot of you guys that are starting to use the flexible filament by 3d Solutech and there it's a great piece of um, great piece of, of material it's just it's a bitch to post process um, I shouldn't say that it's just we haven't th quite figured it out yet so Plasti Dip is no no high build latex primer is no no um, yes this right here uh, quick seal because this is this is a sealant so don't confuse this with this different rubber base this will crack and flake Okay, don't use the DAP. You can use this for PLA, but don't use it for flexible. Okay, I'll show you guys one more thing. Um, this green one, see, also textured. Not not the nice flat looking um, surface. So anyway, that's it for that video, you guys. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video, which is hopefully the um, finishing of this with this stuff. Uh, again, I'm sorry I haven't been out. I, this has been so busy. We've been growing our Facebook group. is at damn near 2,000 members now. So thank you guys. I appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. And that's it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Um, here are some videos for you guys to watch. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And a little shout out to Grace in Arizona, Keith Joey, Hoffman. I'll catch you guys. Come visit California again. Peace.